This episode is not about the city, but about the Moroccan village. However, it's a unique village, very well located in a beautiful area and constructed from Pise. The village is a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987. It served as a location for many famous movies productions. Hello, my name is Sebastian. Today a few words and some images to help you make the most of your time in the village Ait Ben Hadou. I will show you how to get there, how to enter the village legally and for free and what to see on site and in the region. For example, the magnificent Kasbah of Tel Wet, which is located off the beaten tracks. Ait Ben Hadou is a famous and attractive site often visited by tourists traveling to Morocco. The village has existed since at least the 16th century. It is old but well preserved. This fabulous village, magnificently situated, has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987. Films such as Prince of Persia, Kingdom of Heaven, Game of Thrones have been shot there. People from all over the world want to see for themselves what the place looks like. The village of Ait Ben Hadou is around 20 kilometers from the town of Warzazet. However, most tourists get there from Marrakesh via the scenic route through the high Atlas Mountains, which is around 180 kilometers long. Many travel agencies offer guided day trips to Ait Ben Hadou. Alternatively, you can hire a car in Marrakesh for a day. This way, you will have more freedom and time, and you can stop wherever you like along the way. The river Unila flows through the village of Ait Ben Hadou. The historic part of the village, which is of most interest to us, is on the north bank. The modern part of the village lies on the south bank. When we arrive in Ait Ben Hadou, we always land in the new part of the village. To get to the historic part, you have to cross the river. There are two ways of doing this, over the bridge or directly across the riverbed. If there is little water, you can cross over the stones or sandbags. If there is a lot of water, you have to cross the bridge. Until about 10 years ago, when there was no bridge, the only way to reach the other bank during floods was to cross by donkey or mule. When you arrive in Ait Ben Hadou, you can leave your car in the car park, for example, in front of the hotel La Casbah. From there, you can cross the bridge or, better still, cross the riverbed to get to the historic entrance to the village. How to find it? If you go straight on after crossing the river, you will see the entrance, which has to be paid for as it passes through a private house. It costs around 2 euros per person to enter. To enter legally and free of charge, turn right after crossing the river, past the two towers built for the movie The Jewel of the Nile pass another solitary tower from the movie Lawrence of Arabia and continue along the more or less marked path through the fields. You pass alfalfa fields and olive groves Tamarisk and Moroccan poplar trees also grow here. Further on the way, there is my favorite shop in Ait Ben Hadou, where you can find a multitude of small things and souvenirs, all at a fixed and very reasonable price. A little further along the same path, you can taste bread from a traditional oven. 
everything happens before your eyes. The previously prepared dough is shaped and placed on the hot stones. After a few minutes, the bread is ready. There is also bread with a mixture of herbs and spices. I highly recommend you try this local and authentic specialty. To the right of the main entrance is a discrete square. It was in this square that the arenas for the film Gladiator were built and now, as I prepare this document, the set for the second part of Gladiator is under construction. This is the main entrance to the village of Ait Ben Hadou. No matter what anyone tells you on the way, this entrance is always open even when filming a movie. In the village, you can walk freely and admire the rammed clay earth architecture. The atmosphere of the place is unique. A few houses are still inhabited. One is near the main entrance and can be visited. I recommend that you go up to the top of the village. All the stairs lead up there. At the top, there is an old restored fortified granary. In the past, it was used as a warehouse for the villagers' goods and as a last point of resistance in the event of an enemy attack. From the top, there is an excellent view of the village and its surroundings. When you are in the village of Ait Ben Hadou, you absolutely must visit the Tewirga Art Gallery. It is located on one of the main streets. Admission is free. The gallery was created by Hafida Zizi, a self-taught Moroccan artist. Her works have been presented in numerous exhibitions in Morocco and abroad. Works by other Moroccan artists are also exhibited in this charming gallery. This pleasant place invites you to contemplate art and relax. The terrace offers a view of magnificent, well-preserved kasbahs. To all independent travelers, I recommend a visit to the historic kasbah in the village of Telwet. Coming from Marrakesh, it is less than 50 kilometers before Ait Ben Hadou. So if you have a choice, plan to go through Telwet. In the context of southern Morocco, a kasbah is basically a fortified residence. The one in the village of Telwet is unique. It is situated at an altitude of 1,800 meters, in the middle of the high Atlas mountains. Entrance to the kasbah costs 20 dirhams, or about 2 euros. A guide can be hired on site. From the outside, it appears powerful and austere, while inside it impresses with its sumptuous decoration of mosaics, plaster stucco, cedar wood and marble.
construction began in the mid-19th century. It once belonged to the powerful Glaoui family. Its strategic location made it possible to control the caravan routes and the salt mines of the region. Half an hour is enough to visit the Kasbah. The road from Telwet to Ait bin Hadou is around 50 km long. It passes through the mountains and offers such attractive scenery that you should allow at least an hour and a half to cover it. Thirty kilometers from Ait Ben Hadou is the city of Warzazet, nicknamed the Moroccan Hollywood. Indeed, the famous Atlas Studio was created there in the 1980s. With the film shoots, the city began to gain in popularity. Warzazet has three places of particular interest: the Atlas Studio. The Cinema Museum. and the Kasbah of Tarir. I will tell you more about them in my video dedicated entirely to the city of Warzazat. And now I will tell you about the place which is on the road between Ait bin Hadou and Warzazat. Morocco is famous for its carpets and kilims. They are beautiful, varied and for the most part handmade. I have been to lots of places that offer carpets, but the best one I have seen and recommend is in the middle of nowhere, in the village of Taburah. What's so special about it? A huge choice, unique pieces like works of art and above all, reasonable prices. The owner is very friendly. He gives an interesting presentation explaining the traditional symbolism, the types of wool used and the differences between a kilim and a carpet. On the spot you can watch a demonstration of the carpet making technique. And if you ever decide to buy one for yourself, it will be smartly packed. It was a brief presentation of the village of Ait Ben Hadou, a tourist attraction in southern Morocco. Now I'm sure you know even better what to expect there. I encourage you to watch my videos about other places in Morocco, the videos where I share useful travel tips and practical information that will make your stay in Morocco even more enjoyable. I hope this video is useful for you. If so, please leave a comment, give a like and subscribe to my channel. I make my videos always with top travel tips with useful information and in three languages in English, in French and in Polish so you can share them with your friends who live abroad. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon!